enough of this madness Otto voiced out as he presents security outfits for Binui. That's good. That's good. That's a very good move. This is what uh, these governors supposed to have been doing since. This is what they supposed to have been thinking of doing. This is the moves that has that supposed to have been seen in them for a very long time. If not, these criminals invading their communities and state wouldn't have been coming. So, in a sense, one would say that at least with this great move by summer autumn, the uh, the crisis in Benue would press down a little. Um, well, else, apart from that, summer autumn has been at the forefront of fighting um, insecurity in the state, although he has been trying. But then, that was after his attack, two times attack, because Mazin, I can remember now, they kind of warned him, but he was quite stubborn and, um, you know, challenging Mazin Amdekano because then Mazin Amdekano was telling him that um, it is ideal for the Eastern Security Network to come to Benue and protect the forest. But it was challenging Namdekano and all of that. But before you know it, he got the shock of his life. And since that very day, he has been up and doing and then to this very moment that he has decided to come up with a security outfit that is very very good all right let's quickly see what he has in the content following continued headsmen attacks on benue communities by fulani headsmen the benue state governor on thursday announced the constitution of a community security outfit known as community volunteer guards with a mandate to curb the attacks henceforth. The security outfit replaces the vigilant guards whose bill was enacted by the Benue State House of Assembly in the year 2000 with the same mandate of curbing crime in the state. In a communicable after an expanded emergency stakeholders meeting at the new banquet hall of Benue People's House, Makodi, Governor Samuel Autumn informed that the decision to revive the community volunteer guard became imperative owing to the volume of attacks being recorded in the state in recent times. Autumn who said the volunteer guard will work closely with conventional security agencies emphasized that the outfit was in no way going to work at cross purpose with conventional agencies operating in the state. While commanding officers of the Nigerian Army, the Air Force, Nigerian Navy, the police, as well as sister security agencies for their efforts over the years in halting the attacks, the governor noted that they were being overstretched due to shortage of personal effort. The collective resolve by Benue stakeholders to revive its security outfit. The governor said he was personally going to coordinate activities of the outfit at the state level alongside his deputy engineer Benson Apono, secretary to the Benue state government professor Anthony Ajaho, adding that representatives from the state security services DSS, that of the police as well as traditional rulers be part of the state coordinating. The volunteer guard Autumn informed further are to be recruited at the ward level with each council ward in the state producing 10 of the volunteers. On the criteria of recruitment, the governor said community chief up to the task collector level were to be solely responsible for the process, adding that those to be recruited in the guard are to fall within the age of 18 to 49 years, stressing that such person may have lived in such community for a period of not less than six months without questioned, questionable character. Governor Autumn said those to be recruited must also be persons with steady income, including farming, and must not also have 
criminal records of having been convicted of any crime, being it in the state or anywhere, so as to avoid the temptation of such person returning to their old ways of criminality in connivance with bad elements in their communities. The governor informed that licensed weapons were going to be acquired for the volunteer guard alongside other logistics to enable them carry out their mandates more effectively. Autumn charged the guard not to resort to conventional security agencies in cases of emergency attacks but respond rapidly in line with their rules of engagement. Warning, however, that on no account should they abuse the trust given to them by stakeholders as doing so, he re-emphasized, will be met with stringent sanctions, including prosecution. Earlier, the three social cultural organizations in the state, namely the TIV, the Opiatoha, Idoma, and Omi. EKD had all passed a vote of confidence on Governor Autumn and urged him never to repeal the anti-open grazing and ranches establishment law being enforced on the state. It was observed that local government chairman, divisional police officer, director of DSS, as well as stakeholders in all the local governments are to coordinate activities of the active fleets. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, Samuel Autumn on his own side have been trying. Yeah. He has been trying. He has been, you know, meeting up. He has been meeting up, just like I said. But then, you need to put more efforts. You need to put more efforts. You need more efforts. Because um, if more effort is not put, <laughs> I'm afraid these people will come in full force. Do you understand? They will come in full force. And um, you cannot predict them. You can't predict them, I'm telling you. Because they are everywhere. They are everywhere in their looks and crownings. Do you understand? So the effort he has just put up now is good. Setting up a security outfit and, um, and um, giving conditions of being a part of the security outfit is fine. It's a very fine one. But then there is need for uh, proper coordination, observation, and you know, what have you. You understand? All right? Okay. Um, so, my, my dear viewers, based on this very fact, I'm using this medium to reach out to you, to plead to you to please come in at least and air your own opinion concerning this. If you are new, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.